It is one of the most vibrant cities in Iran. For centuries, Gazvin, also known in history as Caspian, has been a melting pot of people and cultures, and also one of the important hubs for trade and commerce in the region due to its special situation on a part of the Silk Road, where merchants brought in commodities from the four corners of the world. And there was a special place for that purpose, a building which is still alive until today. The Sado Sultana Caravan Sarai was one of the greatest icons of Qazvin city, before it was partly abandoned near the end of the Qajar dynasty. But today the Caravan Sarai is back on its feet once again, thanks to restoration efforts by the municipality. Covering an area of around 35,000 square meters in the heart of the city, Sada Saltana is visited by thousands of people, including tourists, every day. Caravansaray Sada Saltana is the largest caravansaray in the city of Iran, which was built in the time of Nasreddin Shah Qajar. It was 135 years ago that a person named Baghir Sada Saltana was built in this place. به جهت تقویت بنیه بازرگانی شهر این مجموعه داره سه تیپ پولوژی معماریه ما هم سراح ها رو داریم که اتاقه کوچیکی داشتن برای اسکان کاروان هم فضاهایی داریم که به شکل شبستان بودن که محل ورود احشام با بارشون بوده و هم فضاهایی داریم مثل آبنبار ها و حمام ها که جنبه خدماتی برای ساکنان سد و سلطنه بوده تا به بیدون از بنا نرن برای استحمام یا تحمین آب و In the early afternoon, just prior to rush hour, a gentle breeze accompanying the tranquil atmosphere becomes the main theme in long passages inside the Karavansarai. The combination of bricks, tiles and wood by dexterous Iranian architects have created breathtaking perspectives and perfect symmetries all across the building. Just close your eyes and imagine the camel bells ringing as they bring in goods from China, India and Europe to Iran. Here, the biggest roof caravansarai in the entire Middle East continues to win the admiration of its visitors. Looking at the arcs and the domes covering each corridor, you could feel yourself standing inside a genuine Iranian bazaar. تمام سعی ما اینه که زمین که من یک تقویمی از رویدادهای مختلف رو تعریف کنیم با سه این بنا. این بنا بتونه تبدیل به یک مقصد گردشگری بشه تو گام اول سعی کردیم از مشاغل یا استادکاران آثار هنری و صنایع دستی استفاده بکنیم که خود خواستیم که با اون روح بنا و اون کالبدی که داره همسنخ باشد سعد سلطنه کاروان سرای is a hangout for art lovers more than anything else a Persian calligraphy class teaches the artistic way of writing to kids. In another corner, courses in wood carving are offered to enthusiasts by the famous master Said Farhadian, who turns wood into magic. In one of the shops, handmade leather products and equestrian gear are offered to clients. Qazvin's antique mats and felt products are also available. If you're after handicrafts, medicinal herbs and sweet souvenirs, this is the right place to be. Here you can also experience a perfect traditional restaurant and a peaceful Iranian tea house as well. Most of these shops are open since the renovation of the Karavansarai a few years ago. However, there are also old-timers who've spent a lifetime here. More than a century ago, architects used all in their power to build this caravansarai as attractive as possible for merchants who arrived here to rest, to trade and also to transit their goods. Today the same amount of accuracy has been put into restoring the building so that Sado Saltane could continue to attract people. Harmony is everywhere, from the floor to the ceiling. New brass wall sconces add additional warmth and depth to the Caravansarai's interior. A visit to this historical place can keep you entertained for a whole day and create unforgettable moments for everyone.
The Sado Sultanate Caravan Sarai is another page in the colorful book of Iran, with memories that could remain in your mind forever. Life is short. Don't forget to visit this beautiful place. Amir Mehdi Kazemi for Iran. continue our journey through the province of Charmahal Bakhtiari. We've set our sights on two villages that we've been told can thrill any traveler. But before we were able to dive into the architectural world of the villages of our choice, we came across a very beautiful pond 23 kilometers from Shahrikor, located in the entertainment complex of Gerda Bipin, or Ben's Whirlpool, that's set to have an area of 38,000 square kilometers. The beautiful scenery and the sunshine reflected off the surface of the water were so tempting that we decided to take a few turns on the paddle boats. One of the things we all enjoy during the summer is a day out with family and friends. You can pack a picnic lunch, get out your favorite blanket and a couple of fun games and spend the day outdoors. And there are a lot of places in the city of Ben, in Charmahal and Bakhtiari, where people do exactly that. As our new goal, we came here and we wanted to spend a few days in the country where the country is good and the water is good. شهر کرد رو به ما معرفی کردن ما هم وقتی وارد شهر کرد شدیم گرد و بین رو به ما معرفی کردن ما هم به همین نیت اومدیم به اینجا الحمدلله خیلی آب و هواش خوبه نسبت به شهر ما که اینقدر گرمه تا حالا هم که الحمدلله اینجا هستیم هیچ کنه مشکلی نداشتیم از همه لحاظ خیلی رو به راه بوده With fully recharged batteries after our little fun detour on the pond, we set out towards our first destination, a remote village in the central Zagros Highlands. We have some 150 kilometers ahead of us before we reach the village of Saragosaye. To get to the Saragosayet village, you have to go past Kuhran County through a long and winding dirt road. the Saraga Sayyid village from afar, you think you were looking at beautiful stairways going up the side of the mountain. This kind of compact housing formation where your door opens onto the roof of the house that's right below you is rarely seen in Iran. Only a handful and this is one of them. Apart from the amazing view, the upside to this interesting architecture is that everyone can have their own patio. It's as though time stopped in this village at some point for the architecture is still very similar to its original style. An architecture that's unique in the rural and urban context of the Bakhtiari settlements. Even so, the passage of the years has left its mark on the face of this village, on the houses that were built a few hundred years ago. I don't believe any of the images we show you can truly portray this scenery and the villagers' way of life. Next destination is a village that's in the northeastern part of Chalmahol Bakhtiari, a village in the mountainous areas of the county of Saman along the riverbanks of Zayanderud. 
This is Yasser Shah, a village that was built in the mountains during the Safavid era, so it's really old. The houses are built from clay, wood and brick and some of the streets and alleys are still covered. This is old school Iran. Come, let me show you. The name of the Yasachai village is derived from its geographical location. Most of the villagers speak the Turkish dialect, and in Turkish, Yasachai refers to a part of the river that's wider than the rest. The houses are heartwarmingly simple. Luckily, because of the interest tourists have shown in such places, most of the houses are being restored while keeping their original historic and old texture, turning some of them into ecotourism resorts. These historic and far-flung villages can entice any traveller. The calming experience of this adventure is hard to let go indeed. Hard as it is, nevertheless, we have to head back home. This is Golnafanidi for Iran.